This is a short video to talk about domain and range. Domain is where X can live. Think about a housing area. If you live in a neighborhood, any kind of neighborhood, there are restrictions. There are zoning restrictions and codes. They can't come build a store in the middle of your neighborhood. They can't put um, any kind of entertainment building inside your neighborhood. There are restrictions. And so just like that, graphs and functions in algebra sometimes have restrictions. Let's talk about what a function is right here. So when you have a function, think of it as a machine. This blue box is our function, f of x equals 2x. It's a function machine. And we've got to put something in the machine, let the machine do its work, and spit out something on the other side. So the input is the domain of the function. That's all the x's that could go in here. And the machine does its work. If we put in a 1, 2 times 1 is 2. If we put in a 4, 2 times 4 is 8. And whatever number we put into our function, the machine does the work and spits out the range. So that's the idea there. We can look at graphs and see domain and range. This domain goes from left to right, and the range is usually talked about from bottom to top. So the domain, if you look here, this gold line is saying that this starts right here at x is negative 5 and goes forever. And we don't think about it going forever because we don't see it. But as this function goes down, it gets wider and wider and wider. And there's a y that's going to match every x. So the x's can go forever. Now, this domain arrow says we're going all the way to the bottom, to negative infinity. So the range would be negative infinity, but it does stop right up here say at 5, even though that isn't quite up to 5. We would say negative infinity up to 5. So range can be restricted, domain could be restricted. If we were looking at this picture of maps, we've got a domain of 1, 2, 3, 4. We've got a range of 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1 and 2 are paired to 2. 3 and 4 are paired to 3. That's okay. We're still a function. A function can only have one line coming out of it, but our domain is here. Our range is here. Let's look at this example. So we've got something that is restricted on both ends. We've got an open circle. we got a closed circle. So for this one, what's the furthest left x we can have? It's at negative 3. What's the furthest left, right x we can have? That's at 1. So we know our domain is from negative 3 to 1. It's restriction. It can't live out here. It can't live over here. Why do we have a parenthesis? Because this has an open circle. That's just a boundary at negative 3. He can't live there. He can go up to there, but he can't live there. This one has a closed circle, so we get a bracket because it can live at 1. Look at the next one. So we are restricted on the left. He doesn't live over here anywhere. What's the furthest left? It's at negative 5 with a closed circle. So we have a bracket, negative 5, but it is going forever because as we go down, the x's, every x can be paired with some y down here. So we would go to infinity. And infinity always gets a parenthesis because you can't get there. So we have a restriction on the left for the domain. Now let's look at it, just a few functions written out. f of x equals 5x plus 9. That's just a line. And you want to think, is there anything that x could be that would cause a restriction? I can put a zero in there, I can put a negative number in there, and I can put a positive number in there. The domain is all real numbers. Same way with g of x. This would end up being a parabola, 
and you can put any number in the world and you would still be okay. Number three, this is a square root function. And what we need to remember is that inside the square root, inside the radical, this part must be greater than or equal to zero because you can't take the square root of a negative. So you take the inside over to the side and say that thing has to be greater than or equal to zero. Add the x to the other side and now you have two is greater than or equal to x or you could read it x is less than or equal to two. That's your domain. You found the restriction and that's the domain. So if x has to be less than 2, look if I put 4 in there, 2 minus 4, nope, that's a negative 2. So that's how you can do it with radicals. Take what's inside and set it greater than or equal to 0. Now in number 4, we have p of x is 1 over x minus 2. There's a rule that we should know. We're not allowed to divide by 0, so this denominator can't equal 0. That's a way to find the restriction. Take the denominator, set it equal to 0, solve for x. If we add 2 to the other side, we get x is 2. That's not our domain, that's our restriction. x is 2 is our restriction. So the domain is x can be everything in the world except 2. It can't live at 2 because 2 would make that denominator go to 0. Let's look at a couple of other things. Looking at domain and range on a graph, and remember if it's closed in, you get a bracket. If it's an open, you get a parenthesis. So you always want to go left to right on the domain, bottom to top on the range. So this one starts at negative 1. The furthest right we can go is 3. So our domain is negative 1 to 3. The range we talk about from bottom to top starts at negative 5 goes to 3. Everything is closed in so we have brackets. Let's look at number 2. We note that we have a closed in over here on the left but an open circle on the right. So the furthest left x is negative 4. The furthest right x is positive 4. So we are going negative 4 to 4. This one gets a bracket this one gets a parenthesis because he can go to 4, but he can't live at 4. So that's a parenthesis. Range, we can live at negative 4, even though we're not the, the y value there. We can live at negative 4, and we can go to 2. So we have brackets on both of those. Number 3, both are closed, so we're going to have brackets from negative 5 to positive 4. The range, where do we start? What's the lowest y value? That y value is 0, and we can go to 4, still in brackets. Over here, it's similar graph. We start at negative 5, we can go to negative 1. Everything's included. The range goes from negative 4 on the bottom to positive 4 on the top. So when you look at a graph, domain, you want to start at the left most x, go to the rightmost x. Range, start at the bottom, go to the top. Let's look at another way to look at them.